This is basically just a uh, quick tutorial on how to do something. Actually, once you see the video, you might have a pretty good idea on how to do it if you haven't already done it. Um, this is basically the effect having the uh, the background fade out into a uh, into a mat of some sort, uh, some sort of filter. Okay, uh, to start off, what you want to do is you want to open up your picture in Photoshop. After you have your picture opened up in Photoshop, you want to copy the background on a new layer. And with that layer, you can basically do whatever you want. Um, you can. Uh, so for this one, just for argument's sake, I'm going to use the dark strokes um, just to be different than the photocopy I did earlier. So you apply your filter. <coughs> you want to add a layer mask. Hit Control I to invert the mask. Next, what you want to do is grab. If you haven't reset it to default colors, use your default black and white. Grab yourself your paintbrush tool, and uh, we're gonna go a bit larger here, and just paint in the background. And uh, you know, if you if you if you tap your subjects, that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and clean that up anyway. Just quickly hitting all the outside areas here. Okay. That looks to be good. All I did there was just alt-click the picture to get the mask selection. Now your next step, or at least my next step, is to hit X to switch so you can be using the black and drop your brush size down a little bit. And what you want to do is kind of clean up your subjects if you hit them, which I did quite a bit actually. And gradually take your brush down or your brush up depending on what you need to do. And I'm doing this very quickly, nothing too. Uh, Specific. I mean, you can really get into the finer details if you want with your project. Um, just a quick tutorial here. Just clean up all your overspray. Fingies, because I'm anal. With a with a dark stroke like what I've got here, it really doesn't matter if you tap your if you tap your uh, background a little bit, nobody's going to notice because the effect isn't going to last very long. So basically, that's a finished product. Um, what we want to do is um, sa oh, no. <laughs> yeah, <I'm gonna> save it <laughs> as a PSD file, and then uh, go in and resave it as a JPEG file. Um, and what I'll do is I'll call this one Dark Strokes. shut your visibility layer on that off and then uh, save as again for your original and save it as big fingers don't work on keyboards original and save okay so now basically we're done with Photoshop 
Oh, what you want to do is come into Sony. Well, I use Sony Vegas. You can use whatever video editing tool you use. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the dark strokes picture and the original picture. And you can use whatever wipe you like. I like just to dissolve. Um, and then... And then that's the effect. I mean, you can use... Again, I'm, I'm with Sony Vegas. You can use pretty much... Where the hell it went? There it is. Okay. Um, you can use pretty much any effect you want. Um, and, and it's going to look pretty sharp. I mean, it all depends on... Uh, all depends on what your preferences are. Uh, so that's the original one, the photocopy I did. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please feel free. Peace.